How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can defeat the Bloodfang Sabretooth in the Beastmaster hunt and I'm also going to be showing you some gameplay after I tamed him as well. Some pretty epic gameplay taking down some camps on the back of the Sabretooth. So once you've done the Tall Elk mission for the Beastmaster you're going to get all of these Beastmaster hunts open up on your map. Once you go up the hill to the Bloodfang Sabretooth icon you're going to see this little cutscene here. This dude getting munched by the Sabretooth. All of these Beastmaster hunts follow the same format so basically you've got to find a bunch of clues to find the animal and then once you do find it you're gonna have a few opportunities to kill it if you do die or it escapes you're gonna be able to kill it the next day or in the next opportunity with the same amount of health sometimes it has slightly more health than when you last saw it but it is quite easy to do I did all of these in one or two goes the blood fan kept escaping so it took me three goes but I did do the mammoth pretty quickly so the clues for this one all you need to do is follow the trail of blood you're gonna find two bodies then you're also gonna find some tree bark that the saber cat has been scratching on and there's gonna be a campfire as well after you found those you just need to go up you're gonna see a bunch of traps and it's gonna show you how the traps work as well I never really bothered with the traps they're not that good to be honest you can kill them pretty easily without I've got some cool upgrades I've got all the weapon upgrades but I don't have much health and that many good skills either so it's quite easy to do this to be honest with you as long as you have some relatively good weapons it's also really helpful to have a tamed animal with you I got the saber tooth and obviously that is the best thing to go up against a saber tooth with but it's also good for going up against any of the other animals because it's so beast so what you do once you get to that place you speak to the guy this is the main area then you need to go to sleep and every time you get to nightfall this is when the beast is going to actually turn up so you're going to see here there's three nights that I was attacking this beast it's going to come for you straight away and my tactic would basically be just to set it on fire let your other beast attack it and then just start clubbing it I'm using the double-handed club that's definitely my weapon of choice so you're going to see that it escapes twice and then I do finally kill it on the third go so I'm going to let you watch gameplay of this guys and then I'll move on to the actual taming and the riding of the saber tooth as usual if you've got any questions, definitely let me know in the comments section. Me. 
Once you've defeated the Bloodfang Sabertooth, you're going to be able to tame it just by holding square. And it is pretty cool. It's exactly the same as the normal Sabertooth in stats, apart from it has one more strength. So it's got full strength and speed, and it's got medium stealth. So it's definitely an awesome beast to have. It's my favorite, definitely, in the game. And you can also ride it as well. This is the Bloodfang taking out a normal Sabertooth. It dominates it pretty quickly, to be honest. This thing is an absolute animal. So I'm now going to show you two rampages using this Sabertooth. The first one is taking out one of those bonfires with just a few dudes. And then after that you're going to see me taking out an entire village on the back of the saber tooth definitely a lot of fun you can kill a lot of people while you're on him but he's also really really fast as well you're also going to see me wrecking a bunch of dudes with this double-handed club it is ridiculous it's so much fun to use and you just send people flying with it i definitely recommend getting it you just need to unlock woga and you'll be able to get it and this is the fully upgraded one as well this saber tooth is definitely the highest animal in the food chain in this game it's an absolute apex predator and i hope you guys enjoyed this video as i said before if you've got any questions definitely let me know in the comments section. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.